Let's see what the create and delete brushes are in Ornotrix for 3ds Max and how you can use them to directly spray or delete uh, hairs or guides onto your characters or any other surface inside 3ds Max. So I have a, just a blank character and it is a single mesh in my file. It could be a reference or anything like this as long as you have a mesh or a surface. And first thing I will do is I will press Ctrl plus V to create a reference of this object. Because we will be adding the edit guides modified directly onto our surface mesh, we will need to make sure that we have a separate mesh, which is the original one, just so that we can see it inside the viewport, because adding a modifier will replace the mesh with the guides or the hairs. So I have this, uh, this uh, new reference that I created. I'm going to add the suffix of uh, called hair just so that we know that this is hair and then we have this reference line at the modifier stack and if I scroll down I can add aux edit guides directly on top of this mesh so now I will go into the brush mode and then I will click on the create brush this brush allows me to just directly click and drag on top of the mesh to create guides on the surface uh, by default these guides are randomly generated and there is no restrictions between how they are spaced between each other. This is probably not the best uh, the best thing to do when you have uh, a character where you want to control the distribution. So what we can do is, uh, if I undo this, is we can uh, go and see this uh, properties for root placement. These properties define uh, how the create and delete brushes um, work and how they delete the guides on the mesh. So the spacing value is zero by default. If I change this to a higher value, it's going to control the minimum distance between the roots. So it's essentially going to enforce, for example, if, if it's half a centimeter here, that all the roots that are being sprayed will be at least half a centimeter away from each other. So now if I spray on top of my character, you can see I can continue spraying on the spot and it will not generate new roots in places where the created roots are already spaced at least uh, half a centimeter apart from each other. So uh, another thing I can control here is the position. So instead of random, I could just set it to center. So I can create lines instead of, uh, in, instead of spraying randomly. And I can also set the count parameter, but uh, this parameter works together with the strength of the brush to control how many hairs are planted by default. Uh, next set of properties that, that are important is located in the guide settings roll down. And here we have the length option. So this controls the length of the newly created hairs. It has the point count parameter. This specifies how many points are on the created guides. The default value of 10 is pretty nice. Uh, you can see it here because our guides are straight, but it will be more obvious once we start modifying the shape. And finally, we have the create option, which is set to guides right now, but I can also set this to hair, in which case we will be generating hair directly on top of their character with, without having to convert guides into hairs. Uh, the hairs are pretty thick right now, so if I go and, and add a, a change width operator, I can uh, first of all taper it down and then I can also just make it a bit thinner so they're easier to see. You may want to create uh, uh, um, hairs uh, that are closer to each other if you're really going after the final hairs. For the uh, purpose of the tutorial, uh, half a centimeter spacing is okay for me. So I will press show end result to see my final hairs. I'll go back to my create brush and I will uh, uh, just plant a whole bunch of hairs just to populate uh, the head of my character. Note that uh, you can use various other uh, things that you could use with Ornatrix brush. For example, you can scroll down and you can find this mirror brush changes option and if I click this, you see that we have two brushes. If I spray on one side, it will automatically have uh, hairs sprayed on the other side. The advantage of using this over something like strand symmetry is that uh, the sprayed hair roots will be unique on each side. They will not be exact mirror of each other. So you may want to use this um, in, a, in a character where you are creating new hairs. Uh, but it's obviously it's not always the... Uh, the ideal uh, way to do it because you lose the procedural aspect of mirroring one side of the character to the other.
So I have populated my hair and as you can see there are may some problematic areas where I may want to make corrections and if I planted the hairs in a place that I don't want them I can always go and I can select the delete brush. The delete brush does the exact opposite of the create brush. It will help me delete the hairs that are over the, <coughs> the brush cursor as I click them. It's probably a good idea to use hide back facing guides option uh, or rather not hide but ignore back facing guides so that we don't accidentally delete the guides that are on the other side of the mesh so once you click this option you can preview which strands are to be deleted as you drag over them uh, this option works for both created guides or guides that are or hairs that are generated so you can use this with hair from guides or any other operator to get rid of the uh, uh, one or more guides or hairs that you don't want on your character so in this case I'm just getting rid of some of the guides that I created that I don't like uh, you know, where they're placed uh, once you have uh, created or deleted the guides and you're happy with how they're located you can always go and use the other brushing tools in Ornitrix so I can use uh, the the comb brush or the cut brush or whatever to style the hairstyle and uh, um, you know maybe add some procedural operators on top of this uh, to control the curling or any other aspect so uh, the hair is very easy to create as you see using these options but uh, I can use the same approach to create stuff like eyebrows and eyelashes it's very easy so just like before I'm gonna select the main character's body and I'm gonna control V to create a reference in this case I'm going to say create eyelashes and uh, then I'm going to add the aux edit guides operator on top of this I'm gonna go and select the create brush uh, the default parameters and max are sticky so we should get uh, yeah we, sh we still get the half a centimeter spacing which is nice uh, in this case I'm gonna press center and I'm also going to add a symmetry operator on top so strand symmetry which we talked about before and I'm gonna make sure that I symmetry along the x-axis of my character I'm gonna go back to edit guides uh, just decrease the size of my brush a little bit and then all you have to do is click and drag on top of the uh, character's eyelid so this is probably not a good spacing we need something a little bit uh, smaller so instead of uh, 0 0.5 I'm going to do something like 0 0.1 and as a drag maybe this is too much as I drag over the eyelid the eyelashes are created all I have to do afterwards is make sure that the length is set to a uh, smaller value maybe create some eyelashes on the bottom as well uh, and uh, I'm gonna turn on a show end result so we see the eyelashes on both sides of course we may want to set the change width parameter again to control the the width of the eyelashes um, so you get the general idea how to how to use this option and finally uh, just to to have some kind of sense of completion I'm gonna create eyebrows as well same deal as eyelashes I'm gonna make sure that I have uh, edit guides and uh, I'm gonna add a symmetry operator on top I'm gonna make sure it's symmetry along x-axis I'm gonna add change width as well and then uh, using the create brush set the appropriate radius make sure that um, you have create brush make sure that the spacing is what I want and just start uh, change it to, to random maybe smaller spacing and just start painting the eyebrows as I see fit turn on uh, show and result uh, option maybe uh, also add a surface common top So something like this. Uh, note that because we have created uh, all of these operators procedurally and uh, we started initially by spray painting our hairs, I can always go and make corrections like remove some of the hairs that I don't want and the changes will be applied appropriately and uh, I can control all these operators separately. Um, uh, so this gives you a general idea of how to, how to work with the create and the delete brush. Uh, they are very useful and allow you to dire directly control the placements of the final hairs uh, or guides on your character.